hello beautiful souls welcome to your channel this is your safe place and this is your reading this reading is going to be about a letter from your uh, person maybe you know this person or maybe you not you can choose whatever you want to you can choose like someone who is going to be my future partner my soulmate or someone i have already known like an ex-partner or maybe a current partner or maybe someone you have a crush on so these are your letters i have already picked uh, some of the cards but uh, the tarot cards we will pick them with you in the reading so this is going to be pile number one or letter number one let me show you this is going to be letter number two this is going to be letter number three and this is going to be letter number four you can pick your letter or if you feel like you are drawn to more than one letter you can listen both of them and um, you can sum up you can make some um, observations <laughs> which one is your letter or which messages are meant to reach you okay so begin with pile number one welcome back pile number one let's see your letter. so let me Turn down. These are your speaking cards, speaking oracles. These are the zodiac signs and their characteristics. and this is going to be your tarot cards so let's begin with the zodiac um, we see here Gemini Capricorn Aquarius Scorpio and again as Scorpio so you or the person on your mind can be one of these signs they can have these signs um, in their sun moon ascendant venus mars depends on depends on so let's begin with number eight i have so much passion and desire for you it drives me mad number four you are my lucky charm since i met you i have manifested all sort of things and three you inspire me so much uh, i read these numbers because maybe they have a meaning for you eight four three maybe um, a number that shows themselves to you again and again or maybe the date you know maybe three can be march four can be april like this maybe your um, birth dates your or the one your person they see you like their fairy <laughs> fairy of inspiration and i see here the curious with the energy of original and forward thinking so they think that um you are extraordinary you are original you are different from anyone because you inspire them you are like the muse the fairy <laughs> that gives them inspiration 
and they believe also you are like their uh, lucky charm you know the lucky charm it's the maybe the abundance maybe the relief wealth maybe promotion you know when they met you you bring them so much luck abundance in the areas uh, of their lives okay continue the fantasies excessive fantasy proves a strong 5d relationship but also a challenging 3d one maybe there is um, a bond here like the you know the soulmate a spiritual connection in a 5d world and also they have fantasies they have desires for you you make them mad <laughs> you drive them crazy about you they have so much passion also we see here lots of scorpio energy powerful and passionate jealous and possessive this can be you or them but obviously they are very very passionate about you and i believe they are kind of jealous of you maybe they are so much um, possessive with you okay continue i am reminiscing about our good times hmm they think about your good times the memories i am completely lost without you mutual understanding is our key to growth let's get on the same page hmm. mutual understanding and the getting on the same page maybe if this person is your ex-partner or a partner current partner um, you may have been facing challenges with within your relationship they want to get on the same page with you get on the same page with you they don't want any challenges but maybe because they are so much jealous of you <laughs> they are jealous of you you know um maybe that is the reason you are having this kind of conflicts maybe some kind of breakups but then mix ups you know <laughs> I feel like you were made especially for me. They really admire your beauty. They really do. It's like um, you are some kind of a limited edition, you know, <laughs> limited edition of something, some part of a collection. And they want uh, to have <laughs> full of this collection. You always know how to make my day because you are their luck, because you are, uh, you are their muse, <laughs> you are their fairy. I want to take away all of your problems and stress. Hmm. If you are having some kind of a stress right now when you listen this reading, maybe they want to handle this for you. Because we have here the Capricorn energy controlled and polite. They also think that you are polite, but they um, also have the control of maybe your life. Maybe this is the reason you are having conflicts. And here with the Gemini energy, affectionate and friendly, they don't just want to be your lover. They also want to be uh, your friend, your pal, you know, maybe uh, like a family member to you like I suppose like a wife like a husband they want to take care of everything about you your threats your problems and this is the love you know this is the love this is all the love is about so let's have some uh, tarot cards here these are very beautiful I don't I don't want to let's Okay. 
let's see the person on your mind letter number one the person on your mind what are their feelings for you pile number one four of cups strength queen of wands as i said before <laughs> you are you are very beautiful or you are very handsome you can be both female or male or anything you know doesn't matter but the energy of the queens of wands uh it is a very strong one you know it is a very strong one and it's also the energy of aries i see your leo and i see your cancer cancerium they feel like they are um, upset maybe right now they can be some kind of a passive aggressive maybe they show you a passive aggressive behavior or maybe they think you are being passive passive aggressive to them you know if you uh, don't tell about your problems your stress and if you feel like uh, i should do this to my own i can take care of my problems all alone they don't want to be you know um how can i say outcast i guess <laughs> outcast oh, yes they want they don't want to be outcast from your life i think you are here just doing your all your business taking care of your problems and they are um, watching you from a distance and they think that it shouldn't be like that because you are their star you know you are their star you are their moon and the sun you inspire them but maybe they feel like i can't inspire you i can't help you right now because you don't let me do and it makes me upset it makes me feel like I am sad, depressed. And I believe they feel all alone, you know, all alone here. They are watching you. Uh, they are stalking you. If you have no connection, if you have no communication, they are watching you from somewhere, maybe Instagram, maybe Twitter, maybe all sorts of things, you know. And here with the strength card, <laughs> it is a really beautiful strength card. They feel so much passion about you. Passion, yes. <laughs> Sexual energy, yes. But also the compassion. Very friendly, very um, family-like taking care of you the feeling of taking care of you and also they want some kind of peace between you and them a truth you know okay let's continue <laughs> what are your feelings about you pile number one Two of Wands, as I said before, they are watching for you. And they are like, I'm coming, I'm here. <laughs> I'm coming towards you. And also they want to have a feature with you. They have plans. They are pl planning to do something, you know. They are planning to do something with you. Three of Cups. and nine of cups as they said before <laughs> they feel like you are their lucky charm luck is the key term i believe in that letter or in that deck luck being another lucky charm being their luck 
being their abundance you know the cre uh, three of cups and the nine of cups these are all about the fun the celebration having abundance celebrating the relationship a day and they want to share this with you and here with the six of cups you know again the ships <laughs> the sea the children maybe um there's some kind of child issues if you uh, have any child or them maybe this is about a soul connection because six of cups sometimes can show soulmates or someone's from our past maybe our childhood but doesn't have to be but it is a very pure and very sincere kind of love they love you they really do and it is like um, they want to worship you you know this queen of wands always seem to me like some kind of a goddess <laughs> you know these um, arms this woman has six arms they see you as someone uh, who is capable of everything and also it is like they want to bend the knee you know bend the knee in front of you maybe also they want to have um proposal proposal of marriage maybe or the relationship proposal of the uh, relationship stepping into another level what is their feelings embracing enthusiasm this uh young girl always seemed to me like some kind of a fairy and we have the muse here again the inspiration fairy you know shout out to heavens with happiness you make this person very happy and i also see here the lots of butterflies and butterflies is all about the transformation it is not easy to transform okay it is not easy but when you um, show patience when you endure some things some obstacles you can transform into this beautiful butterflies and you can see your life as something very beautiful like the flowers opening you know Pile number one. What are your feelings for you? Resilience. <laughs> As I said before, the endurance, you know, when you endure something, when you endure something, you get resilience. You learn from your mistakes and you get strength to face difficulties, the obstacles. And I believe there's some kind of obstacle to um yes to be patient with and if you can endure this time this process they believe you can be together and you can be happy together you know you can be happy together and here the number is uh, 21 maybe your age maybe your you know date and here we see the path with the number eight again and the strength card is also number eight eight <laughs> infinity they feel like an, um, to the infinity and beyond <laughs> maybe if you have seen the toy story it's an old one but a good one maybe your favorite show when you were a child 
there is a path they believe there is a path we are just at the beginning of this very path but if we can endure if we can get resilience and have strength and show strength to the difficulties then maybe maybe we can meet here in the happiness okay again uh, the signs here as i said before cancerian leo aries aries again cancerian again pisces and the scorpio again we see so much scorpio here and i believe they have plans for you they are planning some kind of picture okay pile number one this was your reading this was your letter from your person uh, i hope you enjoyed the reading <laughs> this is the first time i do a reading like kind of letter so if you feel like you <laughs> like the reading please subscribe and like <laughs> and leave a comment below lots of love see you later hello again letter number two let's see your letter okay these are your speaking cards these are zodiacs so let's see i love you <laughs> i love you i'm a better person because of you i feel more optimistic and full of you life thank you for being there for me when i needed it the most 32 1 35 these are the numbers maybe they have uh, some kind of uh, importance for you or them like the date the birth dates the meeting dates you know and here we have the zodiac signs and their energy of course sagittarius sagittarius scorpio aquarius taurus and libra okay i refuse to live without you because they believe you are the reason you can um sorry they can live they can endure this life the obstacles the um stress of this life and they are saying i'm a better person because of you i refuse to live without you i feel more optimistic you are the reason <laughs> you are the reason when i um get up from my bed in the mornings you are just so damn sexy like scorpio energy my personal issues are requiring my attention hmm. they have some kind of problems with the conditions of their life i am sorry for bringing in my past baggage hmm. i believe this person doesn't love themselves so much <laughs> they are lack of uh, self-confidence self-love self-worth you know they don't like themselves they don't admire themselves but they admire you so much they are very thankful to you they are very thankful i believe you gave them some kind of a strength maybe money maybe your time maybe your energy but whatever you do or you did this is the reason this person fell in love with you you know because even if they didn't give themselves worth love confidence respect you gave them you believed in them and you gave them so much uh, patience energy time as i said before 
but they don't like themselves. Okay, secrecy. The amount of secrets inside a relationship is linked to the fears of rejection and loss. They believe they can lose you. And this is their fear, you know, fear of losing you. I believe uh, you are above of their league, you know, you are above of their league, out of their league, or I couldn't find the word. And they don't respect to themselves, but they have respect for you. Yes, it's again. Sometimes I am afraid I am not enough for you. They have so much baggage, past baggage from their past, from their life. Maybe their relationships, maybe uh, if this person is divorced or some kind of a widow, maybe they had child, children, or they have debts, you know, financial debts, financial difficulties, or even if they didn't have these kind of things, maybe their job, their earnings, their wealth isn't enough for you in the eyes of them, you know. My love for you will never die. They, they definitely love you, you know, they definitely love you. I don't understand why you are so good to me. <laughs> this, this letter is so much, uh, you know, uh, thankful, but also they are shy. They are, feel like they, are, uh, they don't deserve you. You are out of their league, you are above of their league, and they don't deserve you. Maybe they see themselves as impatient, pushy, manipulative, forceful, <laughs> temperamental, impatient. You know, this um, shadow aspects of the zodiac signs. Maybe they are stubborn with the Taurus card, know it all and fix it all. But you are practical, you are practical, you know how to do things. You know how to fix things and I believe you want to fix also this person okay the Libra cooperative and agreeable they see you like this I believe they see you like this okay now let's um, have a look at your tarot cards we will shuffle them with you but these are <laughs> very very interesting very interesting and if they have any kind of secrets I believe this is about their this past baggage their life if uh, they have loose contact with you if they are silent if they not show themselves you know it is about their personal issues it is not about you you know it is not about you so, this person, what do they feel about you? Letter number two, what do they feel about you? I believe they are very jealous of you, no? They are jealous, they don't want to lose you. They want you all of you for themselves you know and I believe also they are having some kind of financial difficulties four of cups <laughs> four of swords four 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 is a number for the stability for the stagnation you know and I believe they are silent right now. They are silent because they don't feel um, worthy, confident. And maybe they are in some kind of a depression. 
they just uh, all day eat, watch Netflix <laughs> and go to sleep. You know, this kind of thing, maybe. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, what are they feeling for you? Tear of Pentacles. I believe they want to live with you in at the very same home under the same roof you know under the same roof maybe move in with you or even maybe get married with you you know get married to you king of cups the hermit i believe they are silent you know they are silent and the two of swords and the under the deck, the Hierophant, yes. The Hierophant is also this Taurus energy. So this is not such a big surprise. They are stubborn. If they believe in something as in some way, they are stubborn about it. This is the way. There is no other way. Maybe you want to fix uh, their ways, their perception of life. And you said, we can do it together. I can help you. Let me help you. I can fix it for you. Or I can do whatever I can do. But I believe they isolated themselves with this hermit and this force, you know, force of, for of pentacles, cups and the swords. They are very emotional. But with this combination here the king of cups is not in some kind of peace as it seems here not in peace mm -mm. no <laughs> they are feeling regrets they are having heartbreaks they are feeling the pain they are feeling the pain they are not happy and their past relationships maybe if they have some kinds of trust issues maybe this is the reason they got surprised you know when they know you when they met you they get surprised because they are not uh, used to that kind of persons that kind of people in their life okay what are your feelings about you self-love <laughs> as i said before they are lacked of self-love and you gave them this you gave them this but they couldn't take it i believe they couldn't take it because in here in the four of cups some person giving them a cup full of water but also full of you know these miracles miracles it's a rainbow and rainbow is all about the miracles in our life the colors the sounds the joy of life and all of their cups are just empty and they are just hopeless they are just like when they uh, meet you Oh, I believe they are like just anyone else they won't love me <laughs> they won't respect me but when they truly know you when they truly met you the real you they saw here's something surprising here's something extraordinary I believe you are full of self-love and you should be you know you should be because also this person feels like you are worth of everything you are like the words you know you are like the words for them the planets the galaxy the universe you are priceless in eyes of them okay one more card from here what are their feelings for you? 
distant thunder clear the air it's like the tower card you know here we see a damsel in distress in a tower the classic awesome old story and here a thunder is coming to clear the air breaking the walls killing the dust killing the false ones you know it's like the tower energy and here we see some kind of mountains mountains is also all about the obstacles but they are also about the goals targets you know with their top and I believe <laughs> this is you and where are they where are they they are challenging some kind of issues and they are really busy they are really busy but also as they said before you are the reason this person if this person is a better person this is you are the reason if they get up from their bed at the mornings this is because of you you are the only reason even if you don't have a relationship or you don't have a connection um, communication right now they didn't lose their interest you know they love you but they don't love them themselves no they're very emotional very um paranoid maybe very depressed very alone they feel like they're alone yes and also let me uh, mention about the signs here um oh, capricorn cancerian libra capricorn again scorpio virgo virgo <laughs> and Libra with the Taurus here so pile number two this was your reading this is the first time I am doing a reading like uh, in a form of letter or some kind of a letter I hope you enjoy the reading if you do please subscribe to my channel uh, give a thumb like and leave a comment below <laughs> so take care lots of love Welcome back, pile number three. Let's see your speaking card, speaking love oracles. <clears throat> you challenge me to be better. Let's take a trip or go on an excursion. Your kisses are absolutely amazing. Your friendship is priceless to me. I wish that what I had to give was enough for you. Hmm. It is like the pile number two. If you feel like you are drawn to pile number two, you can watch them. I can recommend. I know I am not the best, but I do love you. Watch pile number two, okay? <laughs> watch them. I wish you could see how deeply I truly feel for you. Harmony. Our differences have no use unless we treat them like musical notes to create songs. Hmm. Maybe uh, you and them have kind of you know uh, cultural differences, language, religion, countries, nationality, age gap. Maybe age gap okay i can't help mentioning you to my close friends as our family members huh they are talking about you the people around them and it's the number 29 uh, maybe these numbers can have meaning also for you and them when i look into your eyes the whole world stops and i forget where i am <laughs> with the pile number um with the number 
7. I found your inner wisdom really attractive. Hmm. They also attract to your characteristic, your personality, your intelligence, your inner wisdom, your life experiences. Are you older than them? Or are they older than you? But even if you are younger than them, they feel like you are very matured, you know, you have a matured personality. And also here we have some kind of zodiac signs, Gemini, inconsistent and indecisive, Aries, confident and courageous, Sagittarius, bland <laughs> and kind of rude, <laughs> Libra, silent hater and be grudging. <laughs> this is very grumpy energy. Is this you or them? Very grumpy. <laughs> Maybe to other people, you know, very grumpy, very rude, <laughs> some kind of hater. Maybe some people with the, uh, you know, high maintenance but <laughs> you get along with them and also again Sagittarius energetic and explorative <laughs> uh, you know this is kind of um, very um, funny energy funny energy you have fun together I believe you have fun Because they say your friendship is priceless to me. This is not uh, just a love connection. There is also harmony and friendship here. And this is priceless for them. You are like the world. And they are the satellite. <laughs> like the moon. And they are turning around you like a satellite <laughs> you are sun and they are sunflower you know <laughs> you are sun and they are sunflower they can't uh, take their eyes from you <laughs> really amazing but i believe you don't uh, see your value what you are meaning for them you can't see uh, your meaning for them. And that makes them sad, I believe. Because uh, they say, I am giving you so much respect, so much love. I am very excited about this. This is very exciting for them. They can't shut their mouth about you. Like all day, they are talking about you, they are mentioning about you to their close friends, to their family members, or even maybe their colleagues, you know? Okay, now let's see your tarot cards. They want to have some kind of adventure with you also. Yes. Okay, let's have this bag for this. Pile number three. Person on your mind. What are they feeling about you? What are they feeling about you? Let's see. The moon. The Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Judgment, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups, and here Three of Swords. Listen to the uh, pile number two, you know. 
listen to them and here we have the seven of swords what are their feelings for you pile number three mm. in the flow of everything is smooth sailing in the flow of hmm here we see the santa but it's <laughs> Beerless Santa, <laughs> like a child, they are very young. Maybe the time of Christmas, the new year, can be important for you and them. I believe there is some kind of misunderstanding here. Yes, with this moon card, Eight of Swords you or them can't see the truth and that makes them very upset maybe you believe uh, there is third party between you and them yeah but they say this is not the case yeah is this person with someone else is this the deal not of course not for all of you but maybe some of you maybe a few of you this person can be someone else or maybe you are with someone else hmm are you with someone else because they are upset you know this is them they are upset and they want to have a meeting you know they want to have a date with you they want to spend their time with you but they don't know the truth about this situation whatever that is <sighs> what are their feelings Point number three what are their feelings the focus okay <clears throat> and here we see the butterfly with the transformation butterfly is all about the transformation and they are feeling like they are drowning in the sea in the water they can't breathe i believe you are with someone else you challenge them to be a better person but they couldn't change they couldn't transform in the past and now if you are saying i am enough i am enough with this because they couldn't get on the same page with me and we also have some kind of differences as i said before maybe religious maybe you know um, nationality country age gap i don't know but there is some kind of difference between you and them maybe for some of you this is not ethical unethical situation here i don't know but all of their focus is on you they're all about you even if they are someone else or even if you are with someone else and they are feel like they are restricted with this eight of swords maybe they can get some kind of news from you but this is very limited and they don't know what is the truth what is the reality they have limited information about you right now maybe if you have some um, mutual friends yeah mutual friends if you have the same same um, environment like work environment or like the friends or school environment I don't know maybe they can have information about you from them but this is not enough and they have some kind of face-to-face -face communication they want um, how can I say 
facing you <laughs> are you facing them talking the harsh truth talking the harsh facts about this relationship they seem like they are in the flow right now but that doesn't mean they don't care about you or maybe uh, they are waiting for the Christmas they are waiting for the um, you know end of the year but I believe you are just done with waiting yes yes you are done with waiting they didn't feel like they were enough for you they feel like they are not the best for you yes they love you but they are not the best and also you know that you know that you are aware of that and they didn't take the responsibility when you want them to take and you are like you used all of your credits and I am no longer here I believe this is the story no. let's see the uh, signs in here Pisces Capricorn Cancerium it's the Pluto and Pluto can be Scorpio Gemini Pisces Libra and the Aquarius yes They are in a very deep grief, you know. Maybe they are journaling this. Maybe they are tweeting. <laughs> Maybe they are tweeting their feelings. I believe they are not in a good situation. They are sad. They couldn't take their chance. And now, even if they seem like they are, you know, no, I don't care, mm, blah, blah. It's not the case. They are not happy. Yeah. Pile number three. I believe they want another chance, but they believe you wouldn't give this. You wouldn't give this to them. Pile number three. So this was your reading. This is the first time I am doing a reading uh, around the concept of letter so <laughs> forgive my mistakes i hope you enjoyed the reading um i would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel uh gives a thumbs up <laughs> and leave a comment below so i hope to see you in other readings on my channel until then Take care. Bye. Welcome back. Pile number four. Let's see your messages. So, these are your speaking cards. Wow. So, this is how real love feels like. With the number 55. Your honesty and vulnerability scares me and allures me at the same time. Hmm. 48. I daydream of our future together. 20. So maybe these numbers can have some kind of significance for you or them. Chemistry. The more you resist the physical sparks, the more intense they get let them be <laughs> they feel like um, you and them have some very sparkly sparkly chemistry and this is like the fire you know boom they are very excited okay we always have so much fun together I am learning to be more vulnerable with you all. Oh, they also said vulnerable in here. So if 
you and them have some kind of trust issues and some kind of traumas from the past relationships with being vulnerable because if you are not vulnerable you cannot uh, be open to any kind of closer relationship they stay at a very surface level you know to get deeper to get committed both sides should be more vulnerable this is the real love and they are learning to be more, more vulnerable with you because you are vulnerable to them <laughs> you are open to them okay I am thinking about your sweet aroma I believe they are thinking about your um, taste <laughs> and skin you know maybe your perfume or if you have any kind of physical relationship even if you just hold it hands it's like they have idea <laughs> about your aroma I believe this is your taste and scant I accept all of you even your flaws mm -hmm. with your flaws they love you they accept you I wish I could be the person that you need me to be our vibe is so incredible and so unique my life is so much better with you in it okay and here we have zodiac signs and their energy leo generous and warm-hearted i believe they see you some kind of a warm-hearted person with uh, generosity with this vulnerable energy and the chemistry here okay cancer imaginative and artistic a curious independent and strong again leo relaxed and lazy <laughs> and the gemini idealistic and knowledgeable they are ta uh, taking you very serious you know they believe you are some kind of a very uh, experienced knowledgeable wise person you have so much wisdom you are honest and you know how to live a relationship you know how to experience a relationship and um, I believe you don't see any harm to open yourself to be more vulnerability and this is the way as I said before this is the way to live a relationship fully you know from beginning to end okay let's see your uh, tarot cards I will use this pile number four your person what are they thinking about you pile number four what are they feeling about you what are they feeling about you Queen of Pentacles Six of Pentacles King of Wands Five of Swords Oh, amazing! Ten of Pentacles Knight of Wands Mm, let's move them here we should have more space you know I couldn't arrange them okay 
I'm sorry. I couldn't arrange them. What are the feelings for you? Two of Wands. Okay. And here we have the Knight of Pentacles. What are their feelings about you? Pile number four. Creation. They want to create a future with you, I believe a future relationship because they see the chemistry they see the attraction they see the value of this and they don't want to lose that they don't want to so they want to share their sources their time their energy and also their financial source maybe their plans for their future let's say this person uh, has some kind of plans for their job their career or maybe where they uh, will live in the future they want to plan it with you according to you you know there's so much plans here there's so much plans because they want uh, something that lasts long <laughs> with this ten of pentacles not just you know uh, less states for a month or two and go different ways no this is not the case they want to have some kind of a trusted like a building relationship with a base with a strong base everything uh, should be in some kind of a order and one more deck come here what are their feelings finding sanctuary as i said right before <laughs> some kind of a building some kind of a strong base to build something on it they said finding sanctuary opening to your spiritual source i believe they have a safe place with you a safe place like a home a place that feels like a home maybe they feel like uh, they are home with you you are their home but i also believe they are planning a future when where um, both of you sharing the same home <laughs> the same place and this is going to be your sanctuary this is your holy space this is like your temple <laughs> for both of you away from everyone else far from everyone else but at the very top of a mountain you and them in a sanctuary at your safe place at your home and no one can touch this no one can give harm to this this is their plan this is their dream this is their ideal you know they are very serious this is the most serious deck yes in all of them in all of them this is the most serious deck as they said before they daydream of a future together i daydream of our future together i believe this person wants a marriage or living together at a very sacred place <laughs> and this is your this is going to be your home maybe they are also in the field of uh, architecture engineering you know this kind of things maybe maybe this is not necessary but maybe for some of you this is the case and also we had here the Im imaginative and artistic so creating something 
with your imaginity, with your creativity, with this Cancerian energy, and also with uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, you both have this energy. You both have this energy. Independent and strong, like this sanctuary, you know, independent from everyone else and strong, as I said before, a strong base, a strong building with you, you know, you and them, your kids, your dogs, your cats, your babies, maybe. And this is your sanctuary, your home, your garden. And you are just having roots together. Can you see that? The roots. They are uniting with the ground, with the flowers, with the plants and becoming like a tree. And tree is something um, that shows stability, the trust, the relationship, committed relationship. Again here, idealistic, knowledgeable. Okay, and I believe with this relaxed and lazy, uh, they just dream of um, some kind of a home, <laughs> a Saturday, a Sunday <laughs> that is lazy and relaxed in your home. Me and my husband also likes that. A cozy home, <laughs> our movie, our snacks, and just being lazy all we can't this is the <laughs> best holiday best occasion but you are staying at home i believe this person want this with you also maybe they want some kind of uh, adventures but i believe they are just homebody you know <laughs> okay pile number four your reading was really amazing i believe also this person wants to give you the words you know this having the words with you in your sp special place in your sanctuary and also let me mention <laughs> before i forgetting them the signs here capricorn taurus Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries, and here we have Virgo again. So, pile number four. This was your reading and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. This is incredible. You know, this is incredible. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I will try to do my best <laughs> and please leave a comment below and give a thumbs up like the video and if you want to share with your friends so take care and lots of love bye